Because meat is another man's poison. And there's some truth in this. It's hard to find a car that everybody loves. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Chevrolet Camaro. What will it be for me? Well, let's get this party started and see what this tasty American is all about. So I gotta be honest, when I turned on the engine of this car for the first time, I said out loud, oh far out. And then I put my foot on the accelerator and I said, Jesus bloody Christ, heaven, where have you been? This car is an absolute animal. It is so raw, it is so aggressive. It is all the things I wanted in an American muscle car. And let's be honest, after driving quite a few of those pussycat engines, I finally feel complete. More than complete. I feel so happy driving this car. Oh heaven! three engines to choose from. There's a 2-liter, there's a 3.6-liter V6, but today green complainers aren't welcome. And this is my face looking sorry because I've got a glorious 6.2-liter V8 engine that pumps the magnificent 455 horsepower, 670 newton meters of torque, 0 to 100 is 4.8 seconds, and the maximum speed is 250 kilometers an hour. I think Chevrolet has managed very well to retain the original soul of this car. It has kept its flavor, it has kept its character. Now, no matter whether you are a man or a woman, whether you're 15 or you're 80, let alone have any knowledge of the Camaro's history, you simply turn your head with envy, with love, with respect, with a little bit of anger, because let's be honest, this ain't a car for the timid, especially when you hear it. Even in a place like Switzerland, where we have a lot of rare, expensive cars. Yes, the Swiss are this rich. It's such a head turner. It's like a little gem. Or perhaps a little gem is not quite accurate, but it's a pretty special pearl. I'm curious, what do you think of the looks? Do you like it? I love it personally, because if you don't like it, can I be brutally honest? I don't think this relationship has any sort of chance to survive. Yes, that's the reality. is 90 kilograms lighter. We've got the electro hydraulic roof opening and closing. There has been some improvements. It's not as noisy and there's also thermal protection. So if your heart desires to have a bit of fun in the winter time, by all means, you can open and close the roof whilst driving up to about 50 kilometers an hour. And you can do that by using a remote control. Right, and what is happening with the cabin? Overall, the quality is a little bit better than the competitor's cabin with the pony badge. Sorry, Ford. There's a lot of plastic, a little bit of hard plastic here, but overall, the quality is not too bad. Most important is that everything is well fitted. Nothing squeaks, nothing wobbles. It's quite pleasant to look at and to touch. Got some leather here with light stitching, which takes us back to the 50s. Adds a little bit of charm. Steering wheel with the flat bottom. After all, it is a performance performance car and those seats. Oh dear. Talk about holding power and this is just the beginning. Now let's talk about driving dynamics. Handling in this car is out of this world and so is the steering. It is sharp, it is precise and so quick. I mean, I am just speechless and the throttle response well, oh heaven, heaven, where 
Turbo does not exist. It is pure, it is natural, it is simply intoxicating. And you know what? It's got the gearing to match. The engine and the gearbox work in such a beautiful synergy. It's like a beautiful music to my ears. Oh, glorious! Now, shall we talk about comfort? Is it even appropriate for this kind of a car? But all right, let's mention it. Actually, surprisingly, you can still use this car as a decent daily driver. Yes, it's a little bit bumpy. It's tad loud. Because although in a normal mode, it's not too noisy, this naturally aspirated engine, this sweetheart, I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. The suspension is firm, it is sporty, exactly what you need from a sports car to perform very, very well. So you're bound to feel some bumps. Is it easy to handle? Yes, if you've got some driving experience, it's relatively easy to handle, but let me tell you, it's a lot to handle. From the sound, from the sharpness, from the power, it is just such a, it just wakes up all your emotions. Do you worry that it's a little bit bumpy? Of course not, because let me tell you, when you turn on the engine, when you put your foot down, you will tell me, you silly girl, you better keep it quiet, because what is happening is that the world around you no longer exists. It is just breathtaking, that's what it is. It's my kind of life. It's wholesome, it is pure, it is natural, but ever, ever, so strong oh yes and the brakes are brilliant why don't you just wish this wholesome kind of love was for free well tough luck in switzerland the v8 cabriolet costs 64,000 swiss francs which is more or less an equivalent to the us dollar Interestingly enough, in USA, the very same car costs 45k. Thanks Europe, you can leave now with this kind of pricing because you're making a lot of people very, very upset. All right, let's get this party wrapped up. So what is it for me? Is it my meat or is it my poison? Oh, it's all lean meat. But as a whole chunk of poison, one kind only, the kind that makes you just simply go crazy. This car drives you mad because it is this good. It's not just good because it's affordable for many. It is good because it, it's just brilliant. But it is also a forbidden kind of love in Switzerland. Because when you give this car what it deserves, and this car gives you what you deserve, yeah, it's all about win-win here, you're gonna have a, such a glorious journey. But it's a journey with the destination, in my case, for example. A destination that's perhaps not so glorious, because when I continue to drive this car, the way I drive it, I will simply get locked up in prison. So I better give this car back as soon as possible. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to Rene from Chevrolet Switzerland for lending me this car, making my two weeks simply glorious out of this world. I look forward to your comments. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to. And I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye. And now let's do this.